What's up, my peeps? Welcome back to another video where today we're breaking open this door. Okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> you okay there, Pokemon fans? You, you, you doing fine? Yes. All right. This is the, if you don't remember, this is the Tentacle House. Ironically, this house backyard looks really nice. Okay. Weird. But how did this mirror avoid damage? Something sus about that mirror. But anyway, I I am hoping this place has fuses. That's not fuses. The bar drawer is filled with old horse track bedding forms, but the top one contains a wallet and a creepy locket. Each with only a minimal amount of credit on them. Okay. Yes, money. What are you? Two spooky armor. The inscription says, M Melon, <laughs> my love. But the picture is just crude drawing of a single eye. Termites have conspired to make it look like this wardrobe have, has one giant bite taken out of it instead of thousands of tiny Okay. This place doesn't have fuses. So I, I broke into that room for nothing. How am I supposed to light up the... We need cigarettes for a uh, burn with ashes in it. And use this for the tentacle house. I bet there's other things. But let's go to the cobalt camp, shall we? Jackie takes a piece of candy out of her purse and tosses it in your mouth. In her mouth. Oh my god, I did it again! <laughs> it's her mouth, not yours! You can't do that, that's weird! Ooh, this, this is as cozy and inviting as possible of a barrel turning up warm hands. What? Excuse me? The plus three cold arm? Oh, this is the place I place music. <laughs> A hobo was slipping through a worn book, occasionally stopping to check the strange machine next to him and then pencil some notes in the margin. Hi there. Eh. Oh, hello. You must be new here. I don't think I've seen you around here. Yeah, my name is Pookula Man. Nice to meet you. I'm Letters to Cave. Is there anything I can assist you with? Why do they call you Letters? I'm an expert in micro cryptography, aka Hobo Code. Are you familiar with it? Hmm. Nope. What's that? It's a system of pictographic elements that can be written unobtrusively on walls or carved into fence posts, etc. Traditionally used by hobos to leave messages for the hobos to mark a house where the occupants are charitable for instance or to warn a fish guard dog that someone thing. I'm looking on expanding the system for more general communications purposes. My eyes are glazing over. Is there anything I can assist you with? Can I... Should I learn this? Nah. Provide the old shoebox is not in the corner. Hey, Lettuce, what's this old shoebox? Oh, all oh, shoes. You're welcome, though. You try to pick up the box, but you can barely lift it. Jeez, what kind of shoes are these? Hand me down boots. It's been passed from Hobo to Hobo for generations. Probably about 50 pounds of metal reinforcements on the map. <laughs> wow. These boots have been reinforced without regard or error Hmm. A single shoe. <laughs> oh my gosh, my walk! It's on time with the music! Oh, that's so cool! Okay, let's, let's use heavy shoes. <laughs> One shoe is better. One shoe is way better. That's for sure. Yeah. Is there nothing to do here? Hi there, I'm Pukula Man. Howdy! They call me 52T Thompson, or just 52 for short. Huh, 
Is that because of the 52 white keys on the piano? Nope. Oh. Alright, I'm leaving. There doesn't seem to be anything there. So, um. Bridge Factory, let's go. Two goblins wearing shorts with suspenders and carrying. You know those things, those marching band things? They're like an upright harp, except instead of strings, they have metal xylophone bars? Those things. Oh, oh, I know what he's talking about. Oh, anyway, these goblins are carrying those and they interrupt you. I am old. Uh, hi, what's up? You are entering the territory of the goblins. Gob Glocklins in. <laughs> Weird. Am I? I don't know what a Glocklin is. We are Glocklins. We both we are the toughest of all she gains and all she sees. But think to you about it. Sure, I guess you do look pretty tough. That's true. We do it. Uh, your xylophones are pretty cool too. But xylophones, these are Gluck spiels that we have. Oh. Glocklands. I get it now. Oh. <laughs> I didn't get it. Now I get it. <laughs> I am so outraged over you. I think we shall a monkey do. Uh, I would be wish though, but I want XP. <laughs> oh, the tentacles on their side. Uh, a mute bleeding. Yeah, these are goblins. Great timer is going to play a pleasant chord, bluffing all opponents. It's gonna slap me. Also going to the bar. Hmm. Uh, I have three AP now since I spent points, so I can shoot one of these people to death. So let's do exactly that. <laughs> Keep on shooting. And shoot one more time. And then you. Get wrecked by tongs. 14 damn total. What's up? Holy crap! One shot him. Mallet ball. Okay. Oh, my face. I don't think I have new hats in. Why am I going to the broadwalk? Well, you see, I got three on all stats now. Woo! You aim the dart while winding up your arm for a hammer for the camera swing and squinting at the proprietor. Uh, you look about 38, but <laughs> you reek of sick red smoke, so I'm gonna say 34. Nicely done. Right on the money. Here's your prize. Some fancy new beach suit. Shoes. He takes a pair of fogs out from under the counter and hands them to you. Hooray! Alright. Tuck to beat those refrigerator boys. <laughs> I think. The Mafia. Whatever. The guy's at the fridge factory. I don't have muscle. Time to wreck them! So I'm wanting XP! You again. So you ready to join the party of one? Yeah, you ready to join the party of one? Clancy, quit it or I'm gonna slug you right in the mud. Let's do the fight. I could pay them, but let's see. Ow. Alright, 15 health. 16, 19. Oh my gosh, these guys are hard. <laughs> wow, every single fight I've been in, I can one shot them. But this time I can't. Cobbler Warmer. Test the Clobber Dante Warbler with Bite Shotgun. Does he not have ammo? Okay, these guys have armor. It's prepared to deliver an inspiring speech. Uh, I'm gonna one shot him. The guy shotgun guy with my tongs, then the tankiest and strongest. This guy with the hat and the unibrow. So I'm gonna use the wall. Oh jeez. Alright, that's no more um items at the moment. But I'm just gonna shoot him from one HP. One HP. One shot him. All right. Uh oh, he's charging up his own um, speech. 
Bunker attempts to deliver a rousing speech, increasing his ally stats by six. Holy crap. But if I take out the strongest guy, would it be that big of a deal? Yes, it would be, actually. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's gonna die. <laughs> but both of these people are gonna hit her. For six damage, and there's nothing I can really do about that. Yeah. And then, yeah. Plus one muscle. You serious? Yeah. Yeah, let's lower his health one more time, shall we? Wait, no, he's gonna hurt my wobbler. Hit me, that's not gonna hurt. Oh, I'm gonna shoot him. Because I. No, I. No, I. We gotta one shot one of these people. I can one shot one of these people. So, which one should it be? Which one is more important? I don't know. I think it's the buffer. Oh no, my moxie. <laughs> Increases back up again. Thanks, Birdie. Um, they're both gonna hit me for nine his physical damage. Hot diggity. So, just, all I have to do is just kill at least one of them. So, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> This is a hard battle, but I'm I'm taking it. And Birdie, can you please increase my physicality? <laughs> Should I heal myself? Yeah, just in case. Let's go. Let me one quick walk all the way there. It's a refrigerator touch, but not the kind you're probably thinking of. What? If two counts is complete, they have a full fleet of these things. <laughs> Four chemicals. Let's go. Fishing. Miscellaneous. Let's go. Wait. The cold temperatures here have attracted a swarm of Josephilia was serious. Let's go. That's a frosty place. Two box. 11 in one oil. Chocolate stone. I Cool chemicals. It's a pretty flower growing out of this patch of frosty and just waste. It's probably a metaphor for something you don't understand. <laughs> Boxes of miscellaneous discarded industrial junk. Hmm, why do these old toys are still in pretty good shape? What do I need that for? Alright, let's go inside. A chest tools fix here upright with the trains. Look at all this stuff! None of these are fuses. Possible ratchet. Alright. Let's get the grease ball. I won't see it coming. <laughs> Not an and, and, and stink bomb. Oh, I can make another stink bomb. Let's go. <laughs> and the ice bomb. Yeah, we're making hot. <laughs> we're making pipe bombs here, boys. Ooh, hi. The control booth is locked from the inside. Somebody's gonna be a big problem. Looks like something's going down over there. Why hide and watch? Oh, fine, I guess we are. It's all there. All 40k? It's all there. Go on. <laughs> Dark Noil! Noil, what are you doing here? Surprise inspection. Oh, interesting. Oh, gosh. What? <gasps> what the heck? No time to check that. Just go see what's going on over yonder. This is the bit of a standoff between the mob guys and the other ones. <laughs> the lady in the weird crimpo hat glares at you as you approach. I don't recall inviting you to this party. Are you going to introduce yourself? Pokemon man's gotta meet them all. What's wrong with your hat? Nothing at all. A crimpo hat is appropriate for all seasons. It's all spooky and like, it's cutting a hole in the world. Oh, that's, that's some Arabic right there. <laughs> I'm sure you have no idea what you mean. Oliver, are you busy? Uh, 
be it here and kill this guy, would you? Uh oh. Uh oh. The crimple lady smiles and leaves the same way she came in, in a horrible weird spiral of negative space. The weird shadow monster that was once a person returns to face you. Hello. Hey, uh, hey, you mod guys, can you get, can I get you to give me a hand with this? Considering newly terrifying Mr. Cook is between us and the exit, seems like we got no choice. Whoa. Really? They got initiative? But holy crap, those sounds. 30 health and spooky armor. Okay. Cannot take more than five physical damage at a time. But I don't do physical damage. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> what does this do? Reduce shadow all of its muscle to Skelly Moxie by three. Oh, okay. Weird. Wait, it takes my AP when I get hit. Yeah, what? That's that's not okay. Okay, I gotta kill one of these things. Oh, right, his armor. Well, I can still kill it. Weird. That is so weird. And cool, but weird. I don't do physical damage. Ha! Uh oh. Let's go. Uh, heal wobbler. Um, just smack him with tongs. There's nothing else I can do. Boom. That's some good damage. End them. Hmm. This caper has got me all balled up. And how? This whole scene is nutty as a squirrel's mission. Come on, let's aim straight. The tip that has to you, <laughs> m'lady. <laughs> and make for the door. <laughs> he mostly dissolved into a cloud of what? Weird shadow stuff, but there are a few objects on the ground. A pocket watch, a bank pouch, and an official looking document of sorts. You take a quick look at the document. It turns out this blood giant was the owner of Speakeasy, and now you are, maybe. Is that how these work? Well, you know. Oh, what is this? This booze looks dangerous. It also appears to be tainted with some side of sinister magical energy. Oh, huh. This fridge is plugged in. A little note on it says, Experimental, not for lunches. The fridge has been fitted with the Experimental Automatic Ice Cube Maker. Unfortunately, it's made one single gigantic ice cube that fills the entire fridge. I guess if you ever need a block of ice as big as you, here's what you can get it. There's no reason to mess with the crane. Aw, oh, I should have done something with the crane. You don't have to leave the building to open your map, by the way. You can just click the napkin up there, or hit M. I know that. Let's check this stuff out. A legal document regarding an illegal establishment. Bank pouch. 300 e. The ticking of this pocket match sounds hollow and ominous. You don't like it. It's just wrong. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Okay, Gabby. Sounds like a cat meow. Alright. Well, here's an unusual fight. Four Glocklins are playing their Glockenspiels while doing some kind of traditional folk dance. It involves a lot of skipping and hopping and turning around in a square and with precise timing. So they aren't paying any attention to you or anything else, really. Kill them. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they have initiative? I want initiative! I want to use my bombs for more harder fights. I think I can handle this. Uh, 
I have three shots of cheese, so I'm gonna shoot you. And then again. Then I'm gonna one shot him. Wait, no, I still have one more. Should I finish him off? I should finish him off. No! Yeah, you need to just one shot this. What the heck? Oh gosh, we're on the street, right? Um just yeah. Black and speedy fire. With them type five it to the black and steel store. I guess that's where the black and black the goblins are. <laughs> I found the watch. It was complicated. It'd be, I'd be more surprised if you told me it was simple. Well, you know the drill. Strap it on and jump in the uncursing machine. It's a pocket watch. It doesn't. Just uncurse the thing and get some sleep, okay? You look like you've been through the ring. I won't dispute that. Because of smoking. The still among the books and papers is a book of old, but still valid postage stamps, with a few missing. They're surrounded with a haze of weird, shadowy energy, but you can still clearly see the illustrations of cute dogs on them. Wait a minute, cute dogs? That's just like the stamp that survived your luggage fire. Oh dang, of course. That stamp that is what destroyed your luggage. All your best stuff was in there. Your clothes, your teddy bear. That tears it. This shadow business has become personal. I mean it. It was personal already, because Murray being the article and all, but now it's extra personal. Grr. What's up? These stamps, these stamps have shadow stuff on them, and one of them killed my luggage. Oh my gosh, I guess that was my fault. I ran out of stamps and found those inside Murray's desk. I didn't even think to test it. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. It's whatever is causing this dang shadow stuff. I'm definitely going to put a stop to it though. Wait, how many of these stamps do you use? Just one, thankfully. The rest must have already been gone when you found them. Oh, that's good news, at least. Alright, let's equip it. The dangerous pocket watch. The machine snorts the pocket watch up into a dome and begins a strange and loud work. The pocket watch is pulled this way and that is sticking kicks and it's tick talks and it's three hands are forcefully bent back you swear you heard swear. <laughs> what <laughs> i heard what scream <laughs> and then it died the light falls into your lap and hands now it's this hands now it's set to 751 .8. Yep, that's the actual time. The watch is cursed now resides within the machine. Yep, that's, that's the actual time of right now. Ain't that just great? More projected consciousness? Yes. Okay. In your mind's eye, you see the hands of the pocket spin back themselves with jittery violence. With each revolution, the face of the watch itself expands until it is larger than you, and then built and streaked. The whole world lives in a blur of fast running hands in which you see life go by for the first time. Some marines turn to longships, cities to stone dwellings, cowboys to curt sands. You are traveling faster and faster to the beginning of time itself, and there's no telling when this ride will end. Oh! I'm a dinosaur! <laughs> I'm a dinosaur! <laughs> Eat chessboard. Eat Charles. Eat cat. I'm so confused. Check the messages. You check the message pack next to the phone. There's no. There's no for you. Dinosaur. No phone number. Eat the phone. Pokemon hands a tenth by temper. Open a door with those two salad stories. No, you lack the possible thumbs necessary to turn a door. 
completely contained in here, unless you figure out how to open doors. You don't know anything about it. So me, I'm a dinosaur. Rawr. Me to break it. No, you slap your pursuit to tell me it gets the wood, but it doesn't even make a dent. Maybe that's why the dinosaurs don't exist. Couldn't open doors. Rawr. No, I can't test it. <laughs> hey, easy does it, baby. We're all hungry. Please help. I'm a dinosaur. Can you open the door for me? Huh? What's that? Greta garbled. Please help. I'm a... <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. Okay. Flip the table. <laughs> Relax, baby. Alright. Um, overpriced 3, that's 30. Yeah, there we go. Oh, but hey. Rawr, rawr, rawr. I have to increase my dexterity. Come on. <laughs> There's nobody you can call anymore. Like, the lock. 100 dexterity. <laughs> 100 dexterity to pick a lock. I think I'm, I think I messed up the rhythm. I was supposed to, like, hold on. Let's try this again. Oh, it's saved. Okay, fine. I'm eating everybody. Real groovy park watch you got there, Pokemon man. I like the way it tick tick tock ticks. You understand me? Rawr. A lot of power in that time piece. A lot of power. Would you make a promise to me, to you, baby? Would you promise not to throw that power away? A lot of good can be done with that groovy power, baby. Charles doesn't call me baby. Oh, uh, rawr. I hear you, Kitty Cat. What do you say, Kitty Cat? Will you do me a promise? Promise not to throw away the groovy power on that timepiece. All right, can I eat him, please? Oh, absolutely smash the shake on a Kitty Cat. Yay! Now I have six thirty. My stranger is the big D. Never mind. The sun transits the horizon, and I grow ever the more in need of thy existence. I understand. Whilst you sleep under this roof, thou art my lodger and. A signature on this paperwork is required. Nogbor. A provocative remark, madam, and be well made. Snor. Curious, madam, for I do not believe those doors to be locked. Well, what do I know? And thou will find the telephone table with their a key to satisfy your need. Read a book, yay! Somehow that works. You can't relate to most of the books they have here, but there's one travel log by the look. Discuss that proves moderately diverting. Okay. Soon newspapers cause making only minor holes in the testes. <gasps> Wait, what? Oh, seven fossil. What the? At list. The talents carved the letters. How? <laughs> yes, cat. Help. I need help. Pet the cat. 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 Cats is our lord and savior. Sign of pain. Dirty. All right, open the door, please. Oh, hello there. Leave me the less. If I look in the under van, though you are far older than I shall ever be. <laughs> we are the awful and the mega. You, the beginning of time, and I, its end. Will you walk with me? To watch the death of our world and the birth of another. Wait, what? Is it? Oh, okay. It's fixed. Hands to uncursed box watch, feet on. Bolts with the current worn correctly into the future. You pull the pocket watch out and look at it. It's gained some luster. It's shiny! The curse is lifted. Time for it is in his rightful home. A longer, longer have a tail. <laughs> yeah, baby. I wish I had a tail. I wish I had a tail. Me too, sometimes. <laughs> Reduce the enemy's muscle to scarlet boxy by five. That's more than the duck bill. But... Well, that's all three stats. So it's a pretty good debuff. Never mind. I, was just I think that's it for this episode. Uh. Yeah. That happened. I'm a dinosaur and stuff. Bye!
Bye-bye. <laughs>